little bit about myself. This isn't my first time doing stand-up. Uh, about two years ago, I started because um, I had nothing to do and I figured I should go talk some shit. <laughs> but um, it just made me really depressed when I tried to think of things to talk about and I also thought everyone else around me was depressed when I did it. So I just stopped. <laughs> and I went back to sports and I played rugby, but um, my dumb ass hits my head pretty freaking often and I got a career ending injury in the spring. So I am back to not knowing what the fuck to do with myself. And I figured, let's try stand up again. <laughs> um, but this feeling of just not knowing who I am, what I am, is nothing new. I guess we could start with my ethnicity. <clears throat> Sorry, I'm a little drunk. I guess <laughs> we can start with my ethnicity. Ma'am, I bet you can't guess what kind of brown I am. I, I, I really just want you to try though. <laughs> Please. <laughs> oh man. Um, American Indian. Ooh, close. <laughs> close. Minus the American. I'm half Indian. But my whole life, that's been an issue. I grew up in an all white neighborhood, and I was referred to as a niglet a lot because that's what white kids like to call people. I guess, apart from my ethnicity, we can move on to my gender. I guess half of y'all right now can't guess what I am. Uh, I'm actually a girl. I shaved my head my senior year of high school. And uh, from that point on, uh, almost every day I've been mistaken for a boy. And I don't know if it's because of how cocky I am or how big my feet are, but yeah. But the issue with uh, being somewhere in between a boy and a girl is that I'm a pretty ugly girl. <laughs> like you put long hair on me and try and fend me up I'm pretty fucking ugly <laughs> but then you cut my hair off and you like make me all dapper I'm fucking hot <laughs> like I'll flip all y'all all the ladies in this house you know I will <laughs> I guess another issue is the size like I'm a big girl, like a really big girl. Like, have you seen my thighs and my ass? <laughs> it's just everyone take a good look at it. <laughs> but then, if you look at me like I'm a boy, I'm some cr scrawny little faggot, right? <laughs> You guys don't like that word? I thought I'm allowed to say it if I'm gay. <laughs> mm. And then another thing is, um, I guess I'll end on my intelligence. <laughs> When you hear me talk, I feel like you can't decide if I'm smart or I'm dumb as shit. <laughs> because, like, I feel like the things I say are pretty, like, articulate, not articulate, but they're well thought out, but my brain and my tongue don't work too well together. So when I try to say stuff, I sound like a fourth grader in speech therapy. <laughs> Yeah. I guess I'll end on that. All right, thank you. Thank you.